So it looks like McJoe Arroyo, the IBF super flyweight champion, has had his fight with Joe and Ancajas this Saturday canceled. Um, it, it appears as though Arroyo has uh, injured his hand in in some fashion. I don't know if they said that. I, I don't know exactly know what the injury was um, because basically they, they only disclosed the injury. Apparently Arroyo's team only disclosed the injury to the local media in Puerto Rico. Uh, that'd be PR best boxing promotions that Arroyo fights for. Um, funny enough, though, is Arroyo is also an Al Heyman fighter. He's advised by Heyman. But this fight with uh, Joran Ancas was actually going to be taking place in Bacor City in the Philippines uh, due to the fact that Manny Pacquiao's promotional company, MP Promotions, won the bid for the purse bid for this fight. Um, funny enough is nobody from Arroyo's side ever actually even bid on the fight. So leading up to this whole situation, it appeared as though Arroyo... And his team were waiting for Al Heyman and, you know, and and uh, the advisors, managers, PR Best, and so on and so forth to try and get some sort of other deal to get this fight made in either more neutral territory or to, to bring it the fight back to PR. Of course, um, Arroyo won this world title against uh, Arthur Vill Villanueva back in El Paso uh, of last year, back in July. And um, it was vacant then, um, so now he's the champion. But now, because of the fact that Ancas was the mandatory, considering this this kind of uh, late stage pull out of the fight, um, that Arroyo is gonna have to tr have to prove and file a medical exemption that this injury is legit, that it's real, that it's something that he couldn't help and. I'm not even sure if that's necessarily going to save him because um, as far as the IBF goes, the IBF tends to be really strict in so far as when you fight your mandatory and how soon you fight them. So considering the fact that this news broke so late and the fact that they didn't previously disclose the injury to the IBF before they actually canceled the fight could put his uh, world title status in jeopardy. Uh, a pretty interesting situation. Um, personally, I was actually thinking that Ancas was a very dangerous fight for him. Uh, Ancas is a, a southpaw power puncher with, I mean, this guy has serious power in both hands, especially the right hand. Uh, it's kind of rare that you see uh, a southpaw with a big right hook, but Ancas is one of those guys. And even still, he has a big left cross as well. So, I mean, he has power in both hands. Was, uh, in my opinion, a pretty good knockout threat to Arroyo, in spite of the fact that Arroyo's got a pretty good defense. But, um, considering this whole situation, it's it's going to be interesting to see if the IBF winds up stripping Arroyo, which I could see happening considering the basically the sequence of events and how they took place, or if they might um, give him an exemption and and a uh, basically it would be up to a 60 day pass in order to to make this fight all over again and um, actually pull you know follow through with the fight. Otherwise, if um, they wind up stripping Arroyo. It's entirely possible that they may wind up sanctioning Joran Ancajas versus um, one of the the other top contenders for the the vacant IBF title. Um, you know, the, there's other contenders out there like Teru Kinoshita of Japan, Rex Cho of uh, China, who's uh, of Hong Kong, China, who's one of Bob Arum's prospects, who's actually got a fight coming up pretty soon. But um, I'd be willing to bet that Cho would be wind up getting. That shot went up getting first dibs on that, considering his connection with uh, Top Rank. As well as uh, Sho Ishida of Japan, Ryo Matsumoto of Japan, and Khalid Yafai of uh, the UK, who's a, a pretty heavy rising star, who's, um, who's money making opportunities in the UK and may be able to, to sway the IBF. Although the IBF tends to be probably the least swayed in terms of uh, finances um, compared to the other the, the other sanctioning bodies because the IBF is located in the United States so they have to play real strictly by their own rules otherwise they could very easily get sued um, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, if Arroyo ends up getting stripped funny enough is of course he won the vacant title because Zlani Tete had vacated the, the belt in the first place because he was supposed to fight Arroyo and that fight never came off and Tete wound up moving up in weight so Arroyo got the title, so it'll be kind of funny if um, Arroyo runs up losing the title in a similar fashion. Um, 
it's kind of a shame for for Arroyo, considering the fact that he was supposed to be fighting this weekend, and then his brother McWilliams is fighting Chocolatito next weekend. But I mean, uh, let's just see how it plays out. Um, I Kaz is a very good fighter. Uh, so if he winds up getting a shot at the vacant title, I wouldn't necessarily be mad at it, considering the uh, the way the, the all these factors have played out. And it's kind of a funny situation too, because about a month ago, a similar situation played out with the WBO super featherweight title with Roman Martinez. He was supposed to defend against his mandatory Miguel Burchell, and he wound up pulling out pretty late, like last minute, last week or two, with an injury, and Burchell wound up fighting for an interim title, and now it's looking like Martinez may wind up effectively ducking Burchell in order to fight Vasily Lomachenko, moving up instead. Um, in which case, really, he should probably be stripped of the WBO title for avoiding... Uh, a, a top level opponent in Burchell, uh, a very dangerous knockout type of opponent. You know, kind of similar to Ancaz, really. But uh, we'll see how it plays out. Um, good luck to Ancaz in, uh, in trying to get the, this title shot. This was his big opportunity, especially for um, a fighter under MP Promotions, because it hasn't seemed like uh, MP Promotions has really taken off the ground very much um, for Pacquiao. So it'd be nice to see. Um, one or a couple of his fighters managed to um, get up off the ground level, get out of uh, the, the prospect and contender stage and, and actually win a world title. Uh, so we'll see how it goes.